You want in? A, B. Okay. In. Alright. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So, uh, I'm going to show you, it's milder today, we're in the 40s, uh, a little overcast, it was very cool this morning. Not a really motivational day, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and I just heard some news, and I wanted to address this, because I think this is important. Uh, I think it's really important. Uh, so, the Nomadic Movement is a channel that I follow. Uh, they're a young couple that are down in Panama. Really awesome channel. Uh, they traveled all over the country and the world, and uh, for the last year they've been living in Panama and they bought a piece of land down there and they're trying to get their Panamanian citizenship and uh, you know so dual citizenship of course and uh, so they are uh, doing that and living their life and uh, they recently um, you know just uh, got pregnant on purpose so they're gonna have their first child together which is which is fantastic and they were talking about um, a young lady, because they used to, like I said, they did the van traveling type of thing, so they were in that circle. And there was, uh, I think it's uh, Van Life with Lee was the name of the channel. You'd have to go on their thing and look. But the girl's name was Lee uh, McMillan, okay? She was a YouTuber, video creator. And uh, I guess for quite a while she did, I never heard of her, so I don't know her personally. So let me just put that out there to start with. And... Uh, so she started out with her boyfriend. Her and her boyfriend were doing, you know, traveling around with the van life and then uh, didn't work out. And so then she decided to continue on on her own and, uh, you know, do her own channel with, uh, you know, uh, Van Life with Lee, I think is what it is, is the name of the channel. So uh, anyway, uh, one of the things I think, and, and, I, and I've kind of touched on this a little bit and I've talked about it a little bit before, but I, I just want to really kind of really touch on this because I think this is so important and some of you aren't going to give a crap you're not some of you're not going to care at all but others will understand um, especially my other fellow youtubers that are video creators okay uh, if you're out there and you're making videos and you know I don't care if you got you know 2,000 subscribers you know at some point you are going to get trolls haters whatever you want to call them okay uh, people that are just negative to be negative um, and, it, and it's funny um, that uh, you know I got one of those actual hate emails yesterday uh, and I just I laugh because I have a very very thick skin and I just I just I get a kick out of it I just think it's funny and I'm not going to give the person credit I'm not going to say what was in the email but it was very basically they were wishing me to die <laughs> so I'll just put it like that okay so anyway, um, this young lady was dealing with a lot of hatred, a lot of trolling um, online, and uh, she took her own life. She committed suicide. And the nomadic movement there, those guys down um, there in Panama, they were talking, and uh, you know they had said something that really kind of sunk home with me for sure. She, they were like, you know, when you talk to other people, about dealing with hate on YouTube and uh, you know unless it is another creator uh, somebody else that deals with it on a personal level other people won't understand your family's not going to understand um, your friends are not going to understand they're not okay because they don't it's not something that they deal with they don't deal with it because they have no idea but if another creator somebody also that makes YouTube videos um, they know they know what it's like okay and because uh, you deal with it. I mean, it was there was a joke when I first got started and I had talked to a couple of channels that were larger than I was. And they said, you haven't made it in YouTube until you have a hater. And I kind of thought that that was funny. So, you know, and I have my dedicated group of people that hate me, which is fine. They can hate me all they want. Like I said, it's no skin off my nose. Because here's the, here's the one immunical fact that I know, okay? I know this for a fact. Not one of them that hate me would have the balls to come up and say something in my face. They wouldn't. I know that. So they hide in their little basements, um, have mommy bring them down their sandwiches, and, uh, you know, they get on there and be like, oh, I'm going to show him, you know. So it's just, I just get a kick out of that. But anyway, um, back to the more serious thing with this. 
this poor woman was dealing with so much hatred uh, and stuff with YouTube uh, that her choice was to end her own life. And I think that that's really, really sad. Uh, really sad. So it's, it's a very, very unfortunate thing. And uh, this young couple down there in Panama was feeling a lot of guilt because um, uh, the girlfriend had, you know, had communication back and forth. They'd never met her in person, but, you know, they had talked and stuff like that. Because, you know, like interest and all that type of stuff. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, um, you know, myself, that, you know, similar interests, similar mindset, uh, as far as prepping and stuff like that goes, and living off-grid or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, talking with a lot of them. And, uh, you know, they... Uh, you know, you, you have that common interest. You may never meet that person, but, you know, you have that connection. And so um, they're feeling a lot of guilt because they saw the amount of hate she was getting, and they feel like they should have reached out to her. So I want to put this out there right now. Um, any of my fellow creators that are dealing with that hatred online and dealing with those negative people, uh, you know, and stuff like that, and you need somebody to, to talk to, uh, feel free. Feel free to contact me. Uh, you know, uh, and, you know, I, 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 I'm a good listener. I'm a good talker, too, and I'll try, hopefully I'll give you some good advice, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm also a very good listener, and, uh, but, you know, it's just, it is very, very sad uh, to me that, uh, you know, I've known people that have shut their channels down uh, because of dealing with hate. They've stopped. They can't take it. Uh, they just, that, that constant negativity in those type of people, it got to them so much, they just stopped their channels. They just shut their channels down. And I just think that that is a shame. It, it's an absolute shame. Um, it's so unfortunate. It really, really is. Bird up in the tree. Um, very, very unfortunate. And for this young woman to think that that was her only option, um, it's sad. So I, I just want anybody out there, you know, uh, you know, especially creators. That's you know, this is more going out to creators because we are a unique group, uh, a, a unique genre of people, and there is a tremendous amount of hate, uh, unbelievable amount of hate. You know, um, you know, it's like so. Like when I got that that email last night, I mean, I called a buddy of mine, and uh, you know, and I, and I was talking to him about it, and you know, I just laughed, and he's like, man, he goes. What he, and he's like, what is wrong with people? And I said, dude, they're just, you know, they are a trip. They are a trip. But, I mean, I, I have been dealing with it for so long um, and stuff like that. I'll tell you right now, guys, I'm not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Um, you know, it's, uh, it is, it's very, very sad to me that these pathetic human beings that are out there would do that and judge and uh, say mean and hurtful things to people to get their jollies because their life sucks so much that they want everybody else to be as miserable as they are. And if somebody, you know, uh, has a perception that they're happy and that they're enjoying their life, uh, you know, they can't stand that. They just, they hate that. And I'm like, how pathetic is that? I mean, it's just, I don't to me it's pathetic. So, very sad situation, and I wanted to address it because I think it is important, uh, you know. But that's the reality of YouTube. Uh, it is the reality of YouTube. And it is very, very sad. And, uh, you know, um, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people teetering on that edge. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, what, I, what I try to always explain to people, even when somebody's hateful, even when somebody's hateful, you have to realize they're going through something in their life. There's something going on in their life that is causing them to act that way, to be that way. And you have to realistically, uh, for the most part, I feel sorry for people like that. That, you know, they, that they feel like they need to do that. Like I said, my, my thing is this. Hold on one second. I'm to do my job again. All right. Um... My thing is this, you know, I don't even know how to even explain it, you know, but it, it's just, there, everybody's going through something. Everybody watching this channel right now, everybody watching this video, uh, you're going through something in your life, something that's upsetting to you, something that is hurt, 
hurt you um, and stuff like that. And unfortunately, a lot of times what happens is we take that out on the people that are closest to us or we take it out on a complete stranger. Like somebody will walk into a business and act like a complete jerk uh, to a cashier or a salesperson or something, you know, to, I don't know if it makes them feel better, you know, to try to humiliate or, or degrade somebody else. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm going to tell you a quick story. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a quick story. Um, so I go to a restaurant down in town all the time. Love the restaurant. The staff down there, every, every one of the waitresses is great. And uh, one waitress in particular, um, her name is Sue, is an awesome, awesome person. And I consider her a friend. And so I was down there one day, and there was a table, and it was uh, a mother, a son, and the grandmother. And the son, I would say, was, uh, if I had to guess, I would say mid-20s, maybe 25, something like that. And so where I was sitting, the grandmother had her back to me, and the son was basically right in my eyesight, and there was um, the mother sitting next to him. And whatever, for whatever reason, they weren't happy with their food, and they were taking it out on Sue. And I watched this, okay? And this kid, and I'm going to use the word because it's true, this kid was an ass. I mean, bad. Really, really bad. And so, I was like, I'm watching this, and I, I think I had the kids with me. I think Eddie and Heather were with me. So this was a few years ago. And, uh, this kid gets up and he goes outside. And I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> so I go outside. And I'm going to tell you what, I will always approach a situation trying to be nice in the beginning. Always going to try to be nice in the beginning. Going to make my statement, make my point. And uh, so what I did is I went up to the kid and I said, uh, Hey man, listen, I saw your interaction you know, with that waitress. Um, if there's something wrong with your food and stuff like that, you know, it's not her fault. I said, so why don't you try being a little bit nicer to her? You know, trying to be decent about it. And then he copped the attitude. Well, in our society, they think now, these younger generations, uh, think that they can cop the attitude like that. And uh, I said, okay, you want to amp it up, young man? I'll amp it up. And I basically told him, if he continued with his attitude and if he said another wrong thing to that waitress that I would give him an attitude readjustment and he could see that I was serious <laughs> and he backed off and was like yeah, get away from me man I said well you heard what I had to say and I said and we'll just leave it like that uh, he went back into the restaurant for a minute talked to his mother she looked at me he went outside because I was right there I mean I didn't just sat there I was just waiting uh, he stayed outside the rest of the time until they paid their check and they left. And so Sue came over to me afterward and she goes, what did you say? And I said, well, I tried to be very nice. He obviously didn't, didn't understand nice. Uh, he's used to being a bully. You can tell he is because the way he treated his grandmother and his mother. And I said, so I just kind of let him know that if he continued to be a jerk, that I would give him an attitude readjustment. And she's like, well, thank you so much. Because he was being that much of a jerk to this, to this lady who did not deserve it. Listen, if you go to a restaurant and your food is bad, okay, it's not the waitress's fault that your food is bad or your food is cold. So if you act like a jerk to the waitress, I could never understand that. And I'll tell you why. I've worked as a short order cook. Uh, I've worked in plenty of kitchens. I've also worked as a waiter. So I know from what it's like um, from that side of the uh, spectrum okay when you're dealing with you know and I'm gonna tell you what as a waiter 98% just like on my YouTube channel 98% of the people decent no problem no problem at all but you're always gonna have that 2% that are gonna be jerk offs always and uh, you know you have to deal with that and uh, I don't always deal with that in the best way but like I said on YouTube I realize that they're punks um, that they're you know gutless people because they would never say it to your face. They would never come up to you and say anything that they say on YouTube. Because uh, they don't have the stones to do it. You know, they feel safe in their basements, hiding behind their laptop. But some people are not able to handle that. 
um, unfortunately. And this young lady um, wasn't able to handle that, unfortunately, and so she took her own life. And I think that's really, really sad, and it shows you how sick our society is that uh, it's, it got to a point where somebody who's trying to share their life, and that's what we're doing, guys. You know, YouTube creators, we don't have to be here. You know, we don't have to be here. We don't have to put up videos, but we do it because we enjoy it. We like it. We like the interaction. We like to share our lives with people, uh, share our journey, share what we're doing and those type of things. And, uh, you know, it, it, it just it is amazing to me that uh, there's people out there that they all they want to do is hurt people. And it's just so sad. And unfortunately, this young lady uh, made a rash decision. And it's a permanent decision, um, unfortunately. So, uh, very, very sad to hear. Um, and again, so I, I, you know, I wanted to address this because I do think it's important. But I also just want to say it one more time. Any of my fellow creators out there, any other YouTube creators that are dealing with hate, that are having a hard time dealing with that hate, uh, feel free. Reach out to me. Because, you know what, the only people that really truly understand are other creators. That's it. And uh, I have no problem talking to anybody about it, uh, telling you what, you know, what steps you can take, what you can do, and stuff like that uh, to, you know, protect yourself, to insulate yourself in those type of situations. Um, some of them get really creative, too. I mean, like I said, anybody that watches this channel knows I have been swatted. Um, I have had CPS called on me twice. I have had letters sent to the town. So, you know, people are going to try to hurt you if they can. And, uh, you know, so that's just part of what happens. It's part of what you are willing to accept, or you have to accept, if you want to continue to do this type of, of uh, journey and lifestyle. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, like I said, a very sad situation, but I needed to share this, okay? So, again, fellow creators, if you need somebody to listen to a sounding board, somebody even ask questions, how I deal with it, um, and those type of things, feel free to call me uh, or get a hold of me. You know, I have no issue with that at all. All right? So anyway, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Uh, you never know what's going to happen in life, and it's really, really important to tell the people that you care about every day how you feel. Uh, also remember, guys, STD, step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can do that, okay? Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be fine. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.